Hi, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to chop up a sampled sample in the uh, Logic Express. First thing you want to do, uh, choose an instrument track. Uh, go to I.O. Choose the uh, EXS24 sampler. Doesn't matter the kind of output you uh, choose. Second thing we want to do is locate our, locate our audio. Now today, we'll, um, if depending on where your audio is located, you can either drag and drop into the arrange window. But today for our tutorial, we're going to sample an Apple Loop. Now I just want to point out there's a difference between the blue Apple Loops and the green Apple Loops. The green Apple Loops are actually MIDI files, which can't be chopped up directly without being converted. If you wanted to chop up an, a MIDI file, which a MIDI file, you can actually tell the difference by it loads an instrument track as opposed to an audio track. And also, if you look closely on the, on the MIDI file, the green, for one, and two, if you pull up the piano roll, you'll see that it's only bars or squares or rectangles. These are not actual notes. These are only uh, the way the computer reads the uh, audio. If you wanted to convert that, you would go to bounce. And what bounce means is uh, basically to convert. And you want to either convert it into a WAV file or an AIFF file. And then just bounce it. And then it's converted. And to locate that bounce, you would go to your bin. And it would actually be in your bin showing you the uh, audio file uh, that you converted. But we're not going to convert that that uh, piece of audio today. We're going to actually convert a piece of audio that's already been converted. Or that's already audio. So we're going to take one of these blue Apple Loops, buddy. We're going to drag it in there. And as you see, it says audio. Audio 1. And it's audio. audio. Now, um, there's two ways of uh, chopping up audio. The first option is Control X, which means strip silence. What the strip silence does is take away all the silent parts in your audio. So say if you were beatboxing, and you want to create create a, a human drum kit. Basically, you would beatbox, but you want to make sure that you leave a breath between each note. Like you beatbox, like <laughs> yeah, here we go. You want to say pauses that way. The computer only takes the audio, and basically you would uh, convert that later, which I'm I'm going, to, I'm going to show you. We're gonna actually just chop this one up basically without using the control X option we're going to use the forward slash option button which is a uh, you would just hit the forward slash which is located under the the delete button over the return button on your keyboard basically we'll play the audio and we're going to chop it up on each downbeat there you go I mean I'm not going to chop up this whole audio this is a quick tutorial so the next thing you want to do is go back to your EXS24 sampler, tw double click it, it'll bring it up, um, go to the edit button, it'll bring up this piano roll. This is what we're going to load our samples into. Go back to our audio, highlight the, the chopped up area that we uh, chopped up. and drag it into that blank area right there. It's going to say contiguous zones. We want to load that in as a continue, contiguous zones and that just maps it across the keyboard in order. Now our samples are loaded into our EX24 sampler. The next thing you want to do is highlight all this area right here and create a group, which we do that by dragging on the zones, group one. The second thing you want to do is go to groups. Did you see how all the, when I played the notes, how all the audio ran over each other? Well, to correct that, we want to go to voices and go to poly, which means polyphony. What that does, it uh, sets up the, the keyboard so it only plays a key, a note at a time, a key, at a key note at a time. So each time you hit the next key, the audio should stop. Now, if you notice, when I release the key, it kept playing. If you want to just, if you want the audio just to play when you have the key pushed down, come up 
to where it says playback, unclick one shot. What that does is the audio will only play when you have to keep press down. So that's and now you have your uh, your sample. Your samples loaded in, into your keyboard. The next thing you want to do is save this instrument if you want to use it in in another piece of uh, another project. Click the uh, close button. It'll default and say, "Do you want to save the changes you have made to this instrument?" Click save. Name your instrument. We're gonna name it SD today, just for uh, the tutorial purposes. Doesn't matter what you name it. Save it. And now, if we uh, hit our cap lock but cap lock button, which is our keyboard, or if you play your MIDI keyboard, you should you should be able to hear your sample being played. There you have it. There's your uh, sample. Now for uh, future projects, anytime you want to bring up that certain those uh, those sample banks, basically just hit the LCD screen. These are other sample banks that I have loaded already that I the, uh, had in the past that I loaded up. Um, basically, our sample bank is SD, and anytime you want to pull it up, just pull it up. It should be already preloaded. And there you go. Good luck. If you need other tips, there's other people out there that give good tips. There's S F Logic Ninja. There's uh, Just Blaze. There's Mike Chavs. Uh, Ch Chavs. I'm not. I don't know if I'm saying it right. And there's a uh, another cat named Meg that's out there. And also uh, another guy named Ferret that gives a good tutorial. Good luck to all you guys that want to make music. And now you guys know. Uh, quick side note. For anybody that uses the MPD-24, I think, I'm not 100% certain, but they, I think there's a setting. is under Options in your uh, EXS-24 sampler. You go to Options, and it says Akai Convert. I don't know if that's a template for you to add, to map out your uh, your notes or your samples onto a, a MIDI uh, controller. But you can try it out and see if it works. It, if it works, uh, please put up a tutorial because there's plenty of people want that want to know how to sample. So that's all I have for today, though. So peace out and good luck.